Good day, everyone. My name is Oriabu Usewe Esther, student of JPTA, Joint Professional Training and Support International, affiliated to South American University, Global Working University. I'm a 200 level second semester student from a Jacob Center. I'm here to present a 10 paper which talks about the knowledge and effects of narcotic drug use among youths. I'll start like this. The youth are vibrant individuals who love to explore new things and they are the most creative people with great perspective and ideas. They are usually referred to the leaders of tomorrow. The youth are aged from 18 to 29 years. According to Africa, recognizes the youth within that age and 15 and 35 years as well. But we have observed these individual core youth. Majority of them have been exposed to premium scarcity so as well as living a life of taking drugs such as narcotic for pain and now used to increase energy in, to do vibrant things some take over those of AIDS, like some artists we see them taking it for months in the stage just to perform a dance and lots more they do and uh, one other thing we should also take note of is that they do all these just with the thing the audience and at the end of the day their head is at stake so in this study of uh, narcotic drug use, we're going to get some of the knowledge about the drug and what it's all about. It's not actually a hard drug, but today youths have turned it to be a hard drug by the abuse of it. So what are narcotic drugs? Narcotic drugs, these are substances to treat pains like moderate or severe pains. They include morphine and codeine, which are called op opiatics but are not made from opium. They bind to opium receptors and um, they bind to opium receptors and in the central nervous system with the CNS and then the cartridges are called opions by name. Some of the effects of the nicotidios include tension, anxiety, aggression, and other overdose of taking these drugs include causes seizures, which can cause damage to the brain as well. Brain damage, like earlier mentioned, you're unable to speak, to interfere to respect all with the brain, and causes heart rate to slow down, even stop, it can finally lead to death. Some other effects it might have, surely on the youth, are these. When, when it's taking over those, include confusion, the youth will be confused, they don't know what next to do, Take for instance a youth taking the narcotic drugs uh, before every activity he or she does because he said it's for pain. And the end of the day, youth we realize that the body we get adapted to it or addicted to it and start seeing some other symptoms as earlier mentioned. Next, uh, the feeling of um, last if you want to vomit, but person won't vomit, but just a feeling of like I want to vomit. So it's advisable not to take the narcotic drugs until it's been prescribed by the doctor. We also have constipation. That's another uh, part of the effect can have in youth. We have coma. Coma in the sense that uh, we already know what coma um, it's all about. Some times when an individual is in coma, some take weeks, some take months, some take years to get back on their feet. It's almost like being dead but alive. Or will I say, my old time I'll say it's just like someone dead. So we don't wish to be in that shoe. So as youth, we should try as much as possible to avoid the abuse of nicotine drugs, which is used for pain, not uh, being used for it as an energy to stir up uh, the atmosphere for, uh, for vibrancy. Also have brain damage, as I mentioned. So in conclusion, I would say, uh, via this study, we have known, uh, note that um, the drugs are mainly used for pain, and as youths, we should adhere to it. So they won't have a life uh, shortened in the sense that at the end of the day, brain damage, you start having issues with your body, as earlier mentioned, and heart stop working, leading to death. So if you want to live as a youth, stay away from drug abuse. Because the drug is for pain, like we already know, according to the study, severe pain and for mild pain. So as a youth, please abstain from the abuse of it. And uh, when you're going to take it, take it whenever it's prescribed by the doctor. Thank you very much for listening.